When we look at an artwork that catches our eyes, something in it attracts our interest, some sort of visual appeal. It can be an emotion, color, pattern, texture, beauty. For me, there are two things that I consider that makes a photograph visual appealing, light and composition. When we look back to the history of photography, we understand that without light there's no photos. The meaning of the word photograph comes from the Greeks and it means writing with light. Seeing the importance of light for photography, I knew that the first thing I had to learn was about all types of lights. Not only learn, but also I had to understand. I went out with my camera in different times of the day and started to experience this wonderful world of light. I was thrilled to see how my photos turn up in different lights of the day or in a raining day or a foggy day. I also understood that composition is much more than only combining elements into my artwork. To compose a photo is the ability to catch that magic moment. There are a few guidelines to follow to understand how to balance the elements to compose a photograph. However, composition is a constant work in progress for myself. A good composition has just enough elements to balance the meaning of what you want to say with your photograph. Inside those guidelines of composition, I usually I look for the rules of the third, a guideline on where to place my subject, lines that help to lend the eyes of the viewer, shapes add interesting and unique visual appealing into the image, also textures because it adds details. Patterns can enhance with the repetition of colors, shapes, and objects. Color. Color, if you use the color wheel, that really can make your photo to stand out. And I would also add depth, because it adds perspective in relation to the object in the frame. Getting to know those elements will be a great deal to balance and give a sense of harmony into your photos. Those rules will help you to understand the composition, but does not mean you cannot break the rules. I quite find myself breaking the rules all the time. It's a lot of fun. Don't limit yourself by only using Photoshop. Challenge yourself to get out of your comfort zone and embrace this art form into its own essence. My name is Andrea Eni. I am a woman with a camera. See you later.